This function is super useful in Python when you want to repeat a fixed value multiple times. Let's say our intern was given a list of student names and his task was to assign all of them a temporary status, pending, until the actual grades were available. So at first, he thought of using a for loop to build a separate list of pending values that matches the number of students. So inside the loop, he iterates through the students list and then appends the pending status into a new list called grades. Then, he used the zip function to zip both lists together to pair each student with their grade. So when he ran the program, he got the output as expected. Each student had been assigned a pending status for their grade. So it worked, but the code felt a bit longer than necessary for such a simple task. That's when we introduced him to a cleaner approach using the repeat function from the iter tools module. So after learning about repeat function, the intern rewrote his earlier code. He used the zip function to pair each student name with the value pending. But instead of building a separate list manually, he used the repeat function and passed the pending status in it. Now this repeat function will generate the value pending again and again, infinitely if needed. But since zip stops as soon as the shortest iterable is exhausted, in this case, the list of student names, only the first few pending values are used, just enough to match the number of students. So what this loop does is, it takes the first student, Alice, and pairs her with pending, then Bob with pending, and so on, until the last student. So when he again run the program, he get the same result as expected, but this version is much more concise and elegant. There's no need to manually create a list of repeated values. 